<laughs> Someone nerf lick Joe. Oh, <laughs> I was up there. All right, time to buckle yourself in, people. In the early part of the 1950s in the USA, a game called Violence Fight was in vogue among mafia reckless drivers and general businessmen. The Violence Fight was the game to struggle for number one quarreler with fighters who were gathered from all parts of the USA speaking boastingly of their strength. And of course, a lot of the winning money as well as the honor were given to the winner. Here in downtown in LA, a young fighter, Bat, and his manager, Blink, seek for the winning money. Will they do the Violence Fight? It's my absolute honor to present to you Taito's greatest game ever made. You know, in the Taitoist of Taito games, this will make your butthole the most Taito. And I have a bit of a history with this one. AVGN obviously did an amazing look at all of these Taito games and Violence Fight being a um, kind of the main event. What the fuck is score a point over? Why are the Twin Towers in the background of 1950s Los Angeles? violence fight. That's fucking why. And we will try our best to main event this because violence fight is kind of a way of life and you either have to be in it or not be in it and there's no in between. So we have a couple characters. Obviously we'll we'll get to that guy but I'm taking Bad Blue. He is the Ryu of, of the game which is it's weird to say. Ben Smith. Really cool fighter names. You know iconic characters so the thing with Violence Fight is that it's terrible, but it's also kind of awesome. Uh, you can see Bogon. Bogon is... I don't know what it is. What were they going for? Like, even 60s Batman, like Adam West Batman, is was better than, than that. With Or Gogoon! Again, I don't know. Is, there any, is anybody out there that's done some translation work? Ooh! Big Dagoon right there! <laughs> so yeah, these these sound effects. I, what what part of the human, uh, you know, throat is able to produce these noises? Now let me know in the comments what you think Dagoon or Gogon was going for here. So you basically have two special moves per character. I know that's weird; doesn't look like I'm doing them, but that uppercut is Bat Blue's uh, punch special, and this weird little leaping dork kick is his kick one. When a character is staggered and seems to be like clutching his heart in agony like I just was there, that's when you can go up uh, in front of a character's grill and just throw their ass into whatever. That went well. I'm happy about that. Your life bars are in the bottom left and bottom right. It's just numbers and sometimes they're hard to see, which is great. I don't really understand the POW meter and, and what the point of it is these screens are amazing player one won by a score of two to zero got big fight money uh but what, what are we gonna be told what is the words of wisdom come on boy you have one round to clear lick joe just his aura his musk emanating off every every facet of his body is is intoxicating really Everyone has the same voice. Come on, Violence Fight. Come on, Taito. You can do better than that. Hopefully, I can do better than that. Oh my god. I'm down to 73 health already. Someone nerf lick Joe. Oh. <laughs> I was up there. That was some hang time. Oh my god. I'm dying. I'm dead. Uh, remember, kids. If it looks like you're about to lose, just give up. There's really no point. Maybe if I keep spinning, that's a good trick. Okay, okay. No, can't, no. See, I told you. There is no point in hoping. We'll, we'll put some quarters in into this totally real arcade cabin. I'm playing this. Arcade 1-Up should make a violence fight arcade cabin. I'm going to ask Justin about that. See if Justin can get it. That was just goon. Just a straightforward raw goon. So you can't dash or run in this game at all. So when you do see someone 
it just got uh, KTFO'd uh, really early. There's no real, ooh. I'm catching my second win here. Joe may be lickable, but I'm unbeatable, except for the match I lost before. Round two, is it all gonna go away? So I dazzle him with my aerial acrobatics, and then when he's, ooh, there was a big goo gone. <laughs> Damn it! You're, you're sometimes not sure what constitutes a knockdown for them to be dizzy when they get up. So so a lot of times to do that follow-up throw, I'm actually talking strategy about violence fight. I should talk about this game on TKO. Justin and Max will do their normal thing of like, man, what are you what are you doing? I'm like, I'm talking about violence fight. And they're like, please stop. Speaking of please stop, I should stop talking. I let Joe scored a point over. I gotta close this out. Like, there's some type of strategy in this game, but I'm not sure what it is or or how it works at all. Oh, 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 oh. Oh, just lay into him in the corner. That's a big goo go go. Forever Entertainment should do a remake of Violence Fight. I mean, why not? Is Taito even in business anymore? Come on, boy, was the last one. Next, you! Yeah! Oh my god, it's the bonus stage! Aim at champion by defeating Taiga, Taiga, Taiga! That's an amazing tiger sprite. But what do I do? Oh my god! Ah, Gagoon! I'm already, like, about to die! Control my heart rate! Fuck! I guess when the champion gets informed that, uh, Bat Blue beat up a tiger, I guess that's that's a certain intimidation factor, right? I would like to think so. When I went to go see Ninja Turtles 2, see a uh, Secret of the Ooze in the theaters, uh, I think we got there early as with my sister? Can't remember anymore. And we got there a little early, so we had to kill some time. There was an arcade machine of violence fight in this old theater. And for years, decades even, because I'm that old, uh, I remember seeing violence fight and I remember the cage matches or the, 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 the pit fights against the animals. And I remember that, but I could never remember the game, but I remember seeing like a fighting game. And this is 91. Yeah, it was 91 because that's when uh, Secret of the Ooze came out. God damn it, I just lost. I always had this like, you know, uh, game capture in my head of fighting a bear or, or and or tiger. In, in a arcade fighting game. I could never remember the game for years and years. And I think it was only really, please get hit. I think it was only really until the AVGN video in Taito Legends 1 and 2, where I was like, oh my God, it's violence fight. No, wait, wait, it was even before that. It was when I had my dank box and they would play a clip from uh, violence fight when you're circulating through all the emulated arcade games. And I saw this, I'm like, it's this fucking game. Taito, you did it. You were the ones that created this masterwork. Holy shit. And I was like, God damn, you legends, you Taito legends. You're the ones that created Violence Fight. And it takes a special something to make English that's so pure, that's so real. And this is like prime, like pure bloodline English. <laughs> It's not fake. It's the realest of the real. It's almost like too bizarre. Like it, it. Oh my God! Eight, eight health. I got hit by a big dog on. The neat thing about this game is that there's almost no strategy because a lot of damage comes out of nowhere. And it's because these characters all have crazy different stats. Like they're beat 'em up character stats almost. Ow. So like reach and strength and kicking and punching is all like wild. It's like between a hundred and zero. It could be anything. Now my boy Bat Blue, La Bat Blue. Maybe he's a Canadian beer fan. He, I think he's the most middle of the road character. Now should I gone for a character that's like all power? Just let me pick it up. Uh, should I gone for a character that's high in power, high in speed? Yeah, probably. That would actually probably make it easier. Because for a game like this, you can just rely on one thing. Oh my god. He's 30 though. I can do this. 20? Ooh! Yeah, no! 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 Ah! I felt like it was close. Was that just one round? Yeah, it was. The point of a good uh, YouTube like uh, video game video, right? Is is to string people along with, with artificial tension. 
am I this bad? Or am I pretending to be this bad to ratchet up the tension to make you to make you cheer for me in the violence fight? <laughs> You'll never know for sure. The world may never know. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Get caught up in my rhythm. The rhythm of the, the bat blue. Yeah. Four. All right. So instantly cowered out. I just took two hits from, from doing that. I took like 30% damage. She took 10. Let's go for the other barrel crate, whatever. Gagoon. That's a big good. Okay, now we're more even. Now we're less even. There does seem to be a generalized trick where if you go just like a step or two down when you have uh, that freedom of movement, who in these stages. Uh, 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 uh. Yeah, he's dead as shit. So the other cool thing about the fight of violence is that it reminds me a lot of my. Uh, fighting game OC world that I created in the 90s that I only did in like illustrations and like a, a binder and it was called Savage Streets very original it was just like gang members uh, fighting in like you know crowded streets and parking garages pit fights that type of thing like a little bit of Def Jam in there yeah it was a little bit of Def Jam I like cool hip hop chicks and like uh, dudes in trench coats, and they, you could like DDT people onto cars. It was amazing. I'm gonna make it one day. Who is this guy, Max? I don't know. He's America. He's yeah. He's a representation of America. That seems fair. Oh Jesus, America got a big gagoon on me. I really hope in some language a gagoon is not s some racist term. But what? America beat me. Oh oh. Oh my god, with the headbutts. It's like the one, like the one rule, what? He juggled me? Ow! Fuck! What's this guy's name? Ron Max. Should be Maximum Ron. Okay, this time the... Oh, So it's like, don't be aggressive in violence fight, I guess. A barrel channel, help me. Donkey Kong, this motherfucker. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Now, is it... Wow. That that entire, um, like, charging headbutt, I think at least 12 damage, if not 20. Okay, we're not doing too bad. We can do it. Uh, uh, uh. Yeah, Gagoon! I want Dagoon and Gogon to be fighting game terms. I want people to say, like, be watching, like, uh, matches of Guilty Gear Strive and be like, Oh, jeez! So bad guy with the Gagoon! <laughs> uh, he didn't consider the Oki. He didn't consider the Oki of that, of that Gogon. Oh, we got him. We got him by the ass. Ass and balls. Oh, fuck. Wait, hold on. Never mind what I said before. Oh! What? What is this Marvel? Damn it. <laughs> Why can't I beat him? <laughs> there should be like a tiredness meter like in, in Punch Out because I'm just throwing these kicks and not getting nothing for it. Oh my god. This is a, this dude is a brick shit house. This guy probably using a lag switch. Uh. Oh, we can... No, we can't do it. This time, this time. Everything up to this was practice. <laughs> I'll, I'll try the kick special. Why not? A little bit more. Maybe it's more like the threat of the kick is is worse than the kick itself. Ooh! Oh! Yeah! Yeah! Okay, maybe I should stick with it. Maybe that's that's the key. The kick! Maybe not, maybe not. Maybe get up, get up! Fuck. Yeah! <laughs> oh, Gagoon! Gogon, I mean, I'm sorry, I didn't mean to offend anybody. I scored a point and it's over, but uh, we still have to score one more point. Oh! Got caught up in my rhythm! No! <laughs> <laughs> yeah! No! Ah! Yeah! You know what my reward will be? Another stupid ass message. Give me the one I want. 
Sammy you! Oh, tiger, white tiger, we're fighting Tigertron here. It's super uncool that they're pitting animals against us. I'm just gonna hang back. I was too aggressive last time. Oh my God. Uh, uh, no. Cause you start off at 50, at 50 health. Yeah! Yeah! Okay, uh, folks, uh, Mad Men Muscles and the Flophouse do not, uh, you know, glorify uh, the neen of the face of tigers. It's not cool. Did I just... I just powered up. The remaining fighter is only Tony Wan, the boss of Black Willow. Oh my god. Come on! So we're fighting now BJ Baracus, Clubber Lang... Mr. T in his most defining role, except for his role in WCW. Yo, there's cool people hanging out. Hey, what's up, girl? Yeah, just being up Mr. T here. How did he not sue? How did he not see this game? Uh -huh. Oh, that was a hard read. Yeah, the throw is super cool. Like, you throw them across the, the ring, but I don't know what constitutes that like high up throw. Big Gagoon. It just like some characters fall fall for the kick, right? And some don't. Some are just like I don't I don't care, and they just stuff it. So you just gotta try out both things, I guess. It, this is like the early Street Fighter. This game is '89, by the way. So it's before Street Fighter Two, after Street Fighter One. It's amazing because. Well, it's not. It's okay. It's not amazing. <laughs> this game isn't amazing. But there's something about it that's so that's so admirable. See, that's the thing. Even though I have the advantage, the added chain. I saw it earlier, but I just thought it was like a taunt animation. Goon. No. We can do it. We can do it. Yeah. It, was that the boss? I assume that was. But yeah. So there's four playable characters, but there's more characters than that. Oh. Well, who the hell's next? Sammy Yu is next. <laughs> Although one is defeated, you must fight against me. Do you remember me? I'm your younger brother. <laughs> if you want to get prize money even by defeating me. Okay. Fight your younger brother who's just your, you. And we're fighting on the skyscraper again. Well, the, the same background, but we I can actually move around. Well, wow, he's not doing shit. My younger brother sucks. Come on, Anarchy. Let's end, let's end this. Uh, ooh, I like the slow-mo. Like this game is technically, and even gameplay-wise, better than Street Fighter 1, I kind of feel. If you guys are all like, you should do a worse fighting game on this, no. So, so even though I defeated Juan, this is the, this is the, the final here. I don't know if people are watching this. There's a crowd cheering, but there's no one around. So we're just, we're just having this like, uh, final battle of the Yakuza game right here, right now. Mom says it's now my turn to be violence fight champion. Uh, uh. Yeah! Unless there's like third boss. There might be. There might be four kings. I don't even think there was like a translation group for Taito. It was just the Japanese developers were just translating it. They're like, yeah, it's good enough. Violence fight. Sammy Yu, Gagoon. What's our final message? Come on, boy! You won all fight and obtained not only money and peace, but also glory. At the same time, you defeated your younger brother a new cruelty and vanity of violence. <laughs> I want that written on my gravestone, by the way. I don't have a younger brother, but I mean, he knows what's up. However, neither place for peaceful living nor time for consolation exists because young and strong fighters will challenge you one after another until you're defeated just as you defeated them and lose the glory. Don't forget there are many guys like you all over the world. Look at these fucking heroes, these Taito legends. Did they know what they did? Were they aware of how they like changed the like video game zeitgeist? So that was Violence Fight. If you know of any other Taito ass Taito games you'd like me to play on the channel, do let me know in the comments below. I'll see if I can make your dreams come true.